What I want to do is capture the Hi8 video from my Hi8 camcorder. In order to do that, I have to go to the Intensity Shuttle Control Panel. For video input, I want to select S Video. I'll hit Save, select Yes. I can close out of this window. And in Premiere Pro, I want to go to the Capture Settings. This is letting us know the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle is working. We're not seeing it on the Premiere Pro graphic user interface right now because we haven't got it set up 100% correct just yet. For logging, we have audio and video. We want video only for this. For settings, we can go into Edit. We want to make sure that the Blackmagic Design Capture Card is selected, which it is. This is where all your capture cards and capture devices will show up. We want to select Properties. Right now it's set for High Definition. We need to select Standard Definition. I'm going to opt for the DV Video Codec. We're going to hit OK. Select OK again. Now we're seeing it on the computer screen. Where the browse is, this is where you can select the folders for the audio and video. We'll leave them at the default for right now. All I have to do is hit record. It looked like it dropped a frame, but it didn't. We're going to hit stop because we don't need a lot. I'll write test video. We'll select OK. I'll record again. I'll hit stop. I'll exit out. We can drop and drag these clips we just captured into the timeline. The intensity shuttle is smart enough to know when you're trying to capture and when you're trying to play back. It'll make the switch without you have having to do anything. If by some weird chance you are having problems capturing, you can disable the Mercury Transmit. That might help, but for the most part, it knows when to capture, when to output when you're using the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle. When you're using the Premiere Pro Capture Utility, for device control, you don't need to have the Blackmagic Design product selected. We're going to get the video coming in from my Hi8 camera because with the Intensity Shuttle control panel, we have the right input selected. This is if you want to have control over the deck. If you have an HDV camera or DV camera and you make the right selection, the buttons down here will actually work. You can stop, fast forward, play, and you'll have full control over your deck or your DV camera. With some of the video capture cards, you can have control over three-quarter inch tapes as well as beta tapes. With the Intensity Shuttle, this isn't going to make a difference at all, but it is good to select the same option that you have here, make it match what you have selected here. That's just a good habit to get into. It's not going to make a difference really with the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle if you're capturing VHS tapes. But I wanted to let people know that depending on what products you're using and what type of capture card you have or what kind of camera this can be very important i'm going to now capture from my vhs player i'm going to hit play on it to get it started we're going to have to make some changes within the control panel we'll bring up the black magic design intensity shuttle control panel instead of s video we now want to choose composite i'll hit save we'll hit yes I can exit out of here. Things should be set up okay for us to capture because we've already made the adjustments when we did the high eight. It's pretty simple. All we have to do is hit capture. I'll hit stop. I'll hit record again, to capture. I'll hit stop again. That's all there really is to it. I'll exit out of here. We can bring these clips that I just captured back into this timeline. It's pretty easy to do. That's all there really is to it to 
capturing VHS and Hi8 tapes. I want to let people know the reason why I was able to capture from that VHS player is because I set up a sequence within Premiere Pro and output the sequence using the intensity shuttle to the VHS tape. So the VH, VHS recorded right from my Premiere Pro timeline. It had a good, clean signal. If you're trying to capture VHS tapes that were recorded on camcorders from Best Buy or Circuit City and the tape's 10, 15, 20 years old, you probably will not be able to record from those video cassettes with the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle, not without a time-based corrector. Or you could use something like the Canopus ADVC 110. This will capture the old VHS tapes really easy. With the Intensity Shuttle, you'll be lucky if you can capture one out of every 10, maybe even one out of every 20 tapes, depending on what condition they're in. I wanted to warn people of that because some people say they can't capture with the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle at all when using VHS. You can do it. It needs a strong signal. You should be able to capture from Super VHS as well as Hi8. But if you do have weak signals coming into the Intensity Shuttle, it will not record. If you're trying to record store-bought VHS tapes that have the macro vision, it will not record from that as well. I'll demonstrate that right now. I should not have to make any adjustments in the Intensity Shuttle control panel because it's already set up for VHS. We'll just go to the menu bar, select Capture. See how you've seen that flash? That's about all you're going to get is a real quick flash if you've got old VHS tapes or if they re were recorded from a camcorder from Best Buy or Circuit City. I'm going to capture video from my Hi8 camcorder using Blackmagic Design's Media Express software. We're going to go into Log and Capture. We're going to go into the Intensity Shuttle control panel. I'm going to select S Video, select Save. I can minimize this. Now we're seeing my Hi8 tape come up. We want to make sure the Intensity Shuttle is selected if you have if you're using Media Express. Where the edit options are, we can go into preferences. We can we've got it set to capture just standard NTSC. It's in motion JPEG. I'm gonna switch that. Well, I guess I'll leave it in motion JPEG. We have the option to select where we want to store the audio and video. I'm just going to leave it at default, but you could make a switch if you wanted to. I'll select OK because things are, are set up good enough for the purpose of this video. We can record just the video by disabling the audio, but you can't dis disable the video and record just audio. So it doesn't give you as many options as Premiere Pro does. It's really easy to capture. All you have to do is select Capture. This is just the BIOS of my computer. Well, it's actually starting to go through it. And then you just hit stop by hitting it again. And there's what we just captured. Pretty simple. That's all there really is to it. I'll hit capture again. Capture just a little bit and I'll stop it. That's all there is. If we want to go to playback, we can play back these tapes to the broadcast monitor. I do want to say if you select HDMI, you do have the choice to use the audio from the HDMI cable or you can use the analog RCA input. If you're doing game capture and you want to do voiceover right there on the fly, the Intensity Shuttle will allow you to do that. You also have the option during capture to scale HD down to SD or upscale SD to HD.